This is the world problem, DMP problem number 72, problem number 2, where we find the distance between the points A and B on the surface of the Earth given their latitude and longitude values. That distance is going to be on this great circle that contains the two points. That great circle, if we flatten it out a little bit, has a central angle AOB, which is the same angle COD. So you have to be able to visualize the four triangles in this little pyramid here. There's a left front triangle, a front triangle, a top triangle, and a back triangle. And in order to be able to see all of them, we can explode the pyramid out. There are the four triangles that we're going to be working with. We put them back together. The first triangle that we want to work with is triangle CNO. That triangle um, passes through the point A, which means that it has a latitude number of 27 degrees north. That 27 degrees north is going to be the angle from here to here. That is 27 degrees. So if we are going to find the sides of that triangle, we know that that angle is 27 degrees, which if I look at it flat here, this is 27 from here to here. You can subtract from 90 to get this angle here to be 63 degrees. And the radius of the Earth is our 3,960 miles. So we can use right triangle trig to find side A and side D. Side A is, is opposite angle 63, so I would use the tangent of 63 degrees would equal the opposite side A over the adjacent side 3960, which if I multiply both sides by 3960, I get that A equals 3960 times the tangent of 63 degrees. So I'm going to do that on the calculator where I multiply 3960 times the tangent of 63, making sure that I am in degree mode, which I've already checked that. I'm going to store that into alpha a, the variable a. So that distance from here to here, n to c, is approximately 7,702 miles. So we're now going to find side d here by doing the same right triangle trigonometry using the 3,960 again, which would be the cosine of 63. So if the cosine of 63 degrees is equal to the adjacent side, 3,960 over the hypotenuse, which is D, that's what I'm solving for. That means that D will equal 3,960 divided by the cosine of 63. So here it is, a little more nicely written out. So I'm going to take the 3,960 divided by the cosine of 63, and I want to store that value into alpha D. So we have found the sides A and D of the red triangle here. Um, and you can just plug those into your calculator and store those values. Now we want to do the same thing, but with the back triangle, the triangle DNO. So DNO passes through point B. Point B has a latitude number of 31 degrees north. That 31 degrees north is going to be right here. So if that's 31 degrees, we subtract that from 90 degrees, we get 59 degrees for this angle right here. And we are looking for the opposite side, which is B, and the hypotenuse, which is F. And we have the radius of the Earth at 3,960 miles again. So it's the exact same calculations. If I do opposite over adjacent, that would be the tangent of 59 degrees equals our B over 3960, or B equals 3960 times the tangent of 59. Doing that in our calculator, 3960 times the tangent of 59 degrees. And I want to store that into variable B. Then we can do the side F again by cosine. If the cosine of the angle 59 degrees is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse, 3960 over F, then that means that F will equal 3960 divided by the cosine of 59. So here in the calculator, 3960 divided by the cosine of 59, and we will store that into F, alpha F. So we have values for A, B, 
F and D stored into the calculator. Here are those calculations, a little more nicely written out. And now we want to be able to figure out this length of side C. <clears throat> so in order to do that, we're going to be looking at the top triangle, the triangle C and D. That top triangle, it's important to realize that now that we have sides A and B, we also have the angle C and D. That angle C and D is going to match the angle POQ on the bottom, um, which is going to be the difference in the longitude numbers of the points A and B. So point A is at 74 degrees west, point B is at 41 degrees west. Remember when both of the points are either both west or both east, we're going to subtract those two values. So we're going to do 74 minus 41, and that's going to give us the measure of the angle in here. 74 minus 30, 41 is 33 degrees. If one was west and one was east, we would actually add those two values because we're going west and east from the prime meridian, so we'd have to add those two values to get the angle POQ. So that angle in between is the 33 degrees. <clears throat> if we have those two sides, we can just use law of cosines to find side C here. So law of cosines, C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2AB times the cosine of the angle in between. And if you square root that, then you get the value of C. So if I do this in the calculator by doing the square root of, remember the A and B values are already stored into my calculator. So I can just do A squared plus alpha B squared minus 2A A A 2 A there we go B and then the cosine of the angle in between cosine of 33 degrees and parentheses for the radical, and I want to store that into alpha C. So I've just calculated the length of this side of this triangle, and here are those values again. And then I can now work on this triangle here, the yellow triangle CDO. So I already found D and F, I just found side C. That means I can find the little angle in here the central angle that I need, which remember is the same as angle AOB. So I can just use law of cosines again if I call this angle theta in here. And do the uh, side opposite, C squared is equal to these two sides here, D squared plus F squared minus 2 minus 2 DF cosine of the angle in between. Remember that C, D, and F we have values for in our calculator right now, so that means we want to isolate the cosine theta. So cosine of theta equals C squared minus D squared minus F squared divided by negative 2DF. That's a little better here. So once we have the C squared minus D squared minus F squared divided by negative 2DF, we're going to do the inverse cosine of all of that, and that will give us our central angle. So in the calculator, I'm going to do inverse cosine. And then remember, you need to put parentheses around the entire numerator. That's going to be c squared, so alpha c squared minus d squared squared minus f squared. End parentheses for the numerator, divided by, begin parentheses for the denominator, negative. 2 d f and parentheses and parentheses that should give us our angle theta which we can store into a variable i will store it into variable theta so that was our key that we wanted to find that angle because now if we have that angle we can take the arc length formula take theta divided by 360 multiplied times 2 times pi times the radius the radius of the earth at 3960 miles so that angle there divided by 360 that is the fraction of the circle that we have multiply it times 2 pi radius and there's the distance between those two points along the surface of the earth approximately 2006 miles point five three eight you round to three decimal places the end <laughs>